Growing takes time. Ranch Systems has the tools to help you quickly get the information you need so you can get on with your day. Check your water, crop status, and weather from real sensors in your field. To learn more, contact us today. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, reporting to you here today with Mike Needham uh, from Turrentine Brokerage. He represents the Central Valley, and as we know, this um, you know finishing the 2022 uh, vintage, we had some some challenges with some weather events that really took what we expected to be the crop down quite a ways. We lost quite a bit of crop, but as you know, we brace up for the 2023 season. Tell us, you know, what what activity, you know, from your perspective, what's going on in the wine market and you know, from the Central Valley perspective? Well, the crop coming in below expectations or where people thought because of the weather events that we had wasn't necessarily a bad thing. It helps to keep us closer to balance. Being here at Unified, this is usually the starting gate for great purchasing in the industry. And, and so we're starting to have conversations right now and, and we're seeing the market uh, kind of lead uh, where it left off at the end of 2022 uh, harvest where the whites are uh, are starting to show that they're probably going to lead the market when we start uh, doing deals. We're having those conversations right now, but whites having more demand and most likely the red uh, market will trail a little bit at harvest in 2022. Anything that came up available for sale late in the season is if it was whites, it found a home at a pretty, pretty decent price and it was a lot more of a challenge to find a home for the red varieties late in the season. Uh, two, two reasons why, because of tank availability and then also because of, of uh, tanks being full and, and trying to get things in a timely fashion and not have an opportunity for those wineries to pick up those late grapes that were trading at a discounted price. Yeah, so moving into, you know, 2023, we've got some major limiting factors, you know, for, for the growers, you know, from that perspective, but also in the market. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that, but also, you know, if growers are thinking about replanting, where's the interest for Central Valley particularly? There is definitely challenges when it comes to planting and, and primarily because of, of the cost of putting in uh, grapes now with the price of steel, the price of uh, planting materials and everything along with that. It's inflation, it's inflated, and it's going to hopefully keep us closer to balance because I, I don't think that we're going to see a lot of as much speculative plantings that we've seen in the past when the price goes up. And we did see the price of grapes go up last year because of the limited amount of supply that was available. But because of those challenges and new grapes, going in the ground, that can be a, a determining factor at keeping, a, keeping us closer to balance. Anything else you'd like to say regarding, you know, what growers can um, expect for 2023 in the Central Valley? Look at all of your options. Knowing what your options are is, is big. Not potentially passing up opportunities that might be the only opportunity that you might have to sell your grapes because uh, we did see that with certain varietals last year where sometimes uh, when the prices start to go up, if the grower is, is trying to hold out for that last dollar, there was a finite amount of demand out there and then, and then once they miss that the mark, they yeah. miss the market and then you, d you don't want to be left uh, playing without a chair when you're playing musical chairs at the end of the season. Well, thank you so much uh, for your insights. Read more about these things in American Vineyard Magazine at MatthewMalcolmCaliforniaAgnet.com.